it's pretty cliche to say your parents, but my parents are kind of do what you want to do, don't, because my dad's a dairy farmer and comes from a long line of farmers. He's like, you don't want to do this. Yeah. Mm. Don't do gig, try, <laughs> do, do what you love. So for those people wanting to get into radio or into media, what would you guys say to them? What would your advice be? Well, unlike those two, I didn't have supportive parents. They told me um, <laughs> they, to get a real job. Yeah, they wanted Megan to be a piano prodigy <laughs> yeah. and uh, My dad scientist. Was extremely <laughs> unhappy that I went to broadcasting school. So I, I think, like, um, just know what you really like and just go for that. We have meetings and plan it out, and um, but just the just the conversational stuff's pretty on the spot. Like, like Fletch said, we're friends, so we know. You know how conversations going to yeah. go between us. Yeah. Mm. Okay. But I guess we just take stuff that's happening in the news uh, and just look at how we can uh, put that across in an entertaining way. Yeah. Um, you know, put our spin and angle on it. But um, yeah, I mean, we we plan, we finish the show, and we plan, and then we plan for the, you know the few days ahead. So you know, we're always looking at, at ideas and what's in the news and how we can do um, a take on that or a spin. But I think it's so important to have a job and that you love. So you know, while you're at school. Yeah. Start looking around, like what would you want to do, and and you know work out you know how you can get there because yeah it is important you know to have a job that you love. What would you say to them, the people who listen to you guys and would love to be in, in your position one day? I'd I'd say it's not as easy as it perhaps looks. It's certainly not as easy as I thought it was going to be. And if you're motivated by money, it's probably not the industry for you. We've all we've all definitely done the hard yards of sitting on the couch serving coffees shelving CDs, doing sausage sizzles. I think we like, we've like we always had the approach that we like to be pretty honest and pretty yeah. real about things. Like, if, if something didn't work, we're not afraid to say it didn't work. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just a, a realness to us, yeah. I guess. And, and like, ha just having fun. How is the, these new technological developments and, and so on influencing the way that you guys go about your job as, as opposed to a few years ago? Well, it's not, it's not just radio anymore. You can't just think, I'm just going to come and talk on the radio. Yeah. You've also got to be filming videos, you've got to be online, you've got to be all over Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Especially at breakfast, you get up at four in the morning by the end of your show and then some planning, you're, up, you're pretty knackered, but you've kind of got to always be on and thinking about how to have a presence in the afternoon through social media and videos and everything like that. So I'd just yeah. say keeping up and keeping ahead and yeah, trying to lead the way would be probably the biggest challenge. Yeah, there are certain things that, that you look back on and there were some pretty hard times in radio and things like that. I guess just, it just like any job, mm. just keeping at it. Everybody has days where they don't want to go to work, but... Yeah. And I guess starting out's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you know, you might not yeah, be yeah. earning that much money. You got paid in meat packs. I did. You? <laughs> after I, nice. like, my internship, after I would paid my rent, I had $50 a week. So you got to keep that desire, I guess, yeah. for, for where you yeah, want to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, That's where it comes through, the, the passion thing again. Yeah. You've got to... Imagine the light at the end of the tunnel.